first time I wanted to play guitar was because of the movie Xenon 2000. It was like the coolest band I ever saw at the end, though. It was like the credits. It's a Disney movie about futuristic space stuff. It's a mess. <laughs> I couldn't respectably watch it. Um, I grew up in a Southern Baptist church forever. And then um, I went to a couple different ones. But I went to Mount Zion here in Greencastle when I was a kid. And uh, they hands down had the best costume I've ever heard in my life up to that point. And so since then, I've just been hooked. But um, it also kind of goes into folk music as well. It's much different than like uh, jazz or rock and roll. It's like a different kind of passion. I would say about 30% of the covers I do, I really enjoy playing. And there's a good you know, 70% that I'll play it for tips or to keep people there. Um, Wasser here in town seems to have a really good reaction to original music. Uh, I really like that. Plus, because I know a lot of people who have covered I really, absolutely love his voice. Like, and like he was saying, it, it translates the fact that he's you know, really in, in, been influenced by a lot of gospel and religious music is because those people are playing and singing with such an intensity for something that they are so passionate about. And that's one of the things that makes some of my favorite artists my favorite artists is the fact that I can feel and sense and identify with the intensity that they're playing and writing with. And Colby brings that to the table with every song that I've ever heard him do. I mean, his, your vocals are like okay. sonic sex, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> they're gravelly, gritty, but at the same time sweet and soulful. And too, musically, Colby pretty much just gives me complete creative freedom. Like, yeah, it's easiest for me. I love it though. Just <laughs> for sure, I don't tell him what to do. It's just lets me do anything I want. And I guess evidently, so far, it's all it's all worked out. out. <laughs>